it's just, it's devastating. So many people have lost everything. So first tonight, it's been just over a week now since Hurricane Dorian hit the Bahamas. Portland-based Mercy Corps is now scrambling to get victims there the supplies they need to recover. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Laurel Porter. If you can believe this, another storm is now moving toward the islands. Meteorologist Matt Zafino will give us a look at what's expected from that system. But first, Mike Benner got an update today from a volunteer on the ground in the Bahamas. Mike. And Laurel, first of all, the woman we connected with was extremely grateful we even had the chance to talk. She says the infrastructure down there is a mess and getting any sort of line out is a challenge. As far as recovery efforts go, she says it's all about delivering immediate aid to those in need, but also teaching Bahamians how to rebuild themselves. As you can see from the air, the devastation in the Bahamas is nothing short of catastrophic. The entire island was just hit so hard by this storm. Christy Delafield is one of the volunteers from Portland-based Mercy Corps. She's in hard-hit Freeport on Grand Bahama. She says the island was absolutely destroyed by storm surge and flooding. So much water went into these communities. Not to mention unimaginable wind. On Abaco, we saw a boat that was sitting on top of a two-story building. Um, we're seeing houses that just look like a giant stepped on them. They're absolutely crushed. Delafield says aid workers have a lot on their plate. They're distributing emergency relief in the form of canned goods and clean water, even solar lanterns. Because the electrical grid is out, so people don't have light at night, but then also those lanterns have USB ports, so people can charge their phones, contact their loved ones, and get access to emergency services. And boy, are those services needed. Remember, Hurricane Dorian stalled out over the Grand Bahama and Abaco Islands for two days, dumping several feet of water. A lot of people are really worried that they may have lost their jobs because as, as their homes were destroyed, so too was the other infrastructure of the islands. And this is a country that's economy is really dependent on tourism. And sadly, parts of the Bahamas look like the last place anyone wants to vacation. Mercy Corps volunteers pledge to do their best to bring it back. All right, so if you're wondering how you can help, Christy Delafield says the best thing to do is to donate money. We have a link to the Mercy Corps website in the news link section of KGW.com.